Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I finally get questions around how to annotate PDF and images and also how I can prepare the data set for training any of the custom document AI models like layout LM models or AILT models or any of the document AI understanding models. So in this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how we can annotate images and PDF documents with ViewShot learning approach using UBI AI tool. So unfortunately, there are no open source available to annotate images and PDF documents to train any of the custom document AI models. So we are going to use UBI AI tool to serve our purpose and help us in annotating images and PDF for our document AI understanding models. So let's just get started. So initially you have to sign into the UBI portal and you want to see the interface something like this. And once you sign up into this UBI portal, you're going to go into this particular uh, project section and you have to create and set up a new project. So it's an usual process of preparing the projects for the annotations. You have to set up a new project and then you have to fill out the details of a project. So let me just fill out the uh, project details here. So let me name it as experiment layout LM and then I want to click on next button. So you have to select the project type. So here there are many project types you can select. So if you're trying to prepare the annotations for your NER, you can select span based annotation. If you're trying to annotate for OCR data, then you can use character based annotations. If you are using for layout element preparations like any of the image documents or video documents you want to annotate, you can go for OCR annotations. And if you want to uh, use it for image classification, you can select the image classifications, right? So essentially, we want to just annotate the images and the PDF documents. So I'm going to select this OCR annotations. And once I selected it, I'm going to click on this next button. And then once I click on that next button, I'm going to take up into the entity labels where I need to mention what are the things I need to extract from those documents. So let's suppose uh, in this particular project, I'm going to be taking up an invoice data set. So I'm going to be uploading some invoice images and I'm going to label some of the informations over the uh, invoices. And I'm going to pass this particular example that I've annotated into the model. So I'm going to get the response from the particular model and it's going to help me to annotate the other set of examples that I haven't annotated till now. So that's the purpose of this particular automation. So we are going to label few examples and then going to label all the remaining examples uh, with using the already trained examples that we have input into the model. So for that, we have to input some labels. So I'm going to just mark it as sellers as my first label and then uh, address as my second label. And the third is invoice date. That is the label that I would be use it for the annotation. And then the fourth would be uh, invoice total, right? So these are the uh, informations that I'm going to extract the, extract from the PDF or images. So once I'm done with the entity label setup, then I want to click on next button. And then since I'm not using this particular uh, project for relation extraction, so I'm going to skip up this particular process and I'm going to click on submit. So once I have set up this particular experiment setup, you're going to see that experiment layout LM project is set up. And now you have to drop in your files here. So I want to browse up my files. So I prepared some of the files here. So I'm going to upload those files. And then once I get it uploaded, you're going to see that image is being selected here and it will just load up the project uh, once you upload the images. So it's going to take you up to that particular portal where you can start annotating the images. So if you want to automatically annotate the PDFs or images, you have to use a few short learning approaches. So basically you have to pass in certain annotated examples to the model and it's going to take up and learn those examples and then it will help you to annotate the other remaining PDF and images that was not been a part of your annotations. So that's the part uh, that we have to look into it, like how we're going to annotate the examples and then how we're going to pass into the model for learning those patterns of those examples and then later it's going to help us to annotate other left out examples. So for that, once you're set up with this particular project, so essentially what you need to do is you have to just start annotating few examples. So let's say in my case, I, I want to annotate uh, five examples. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select these labels and start annotating over the images. So let's suppose this is the seller name and then I'm going to select this and then this is seller address. So likewise, I'm going to select this address, the invoice date. I'm going to select that invoice date and this is how you're going to annotate invoice total. And then once you're set up with this particular annotations, once you're done with this particular annotations, you can go and click on this validate document and then you can go into the next image. And that's how you're going to go into this particular uh, different examples and then you can start annotating the different images. 
So for this purpose, I have created separate project which has all the invoices in it and the examples are annotated already. So we're going to look into this particular project and we're going to see how the example look like. So these are examples. You can see there are uh, various type of uh, invoices are available and we're going to use five examples for our few short learning and I've got those all examples annotated. So these are five examples that are annotated here. And I'm going to use these examples as an uh, input to the model so that it can understand the pattern of these five examples and it can help us to create the annotations for other examples, right? So for that, we, what you can do is we have to go into this model section and then you can click on this view shot uh, section and then you have to add a model so that it can take an input. So behind the scenes, UBI is using GPT models. So it's going to take up all the five annotated examples to understand the pattern of those five examples and then later on uh, print it on the new examples, right? So, so for that, you have to select this uh, GPT model and then you can also play with some settings. Uh, for this particular model, uh, you can set the temperature like how the, how the randomness will be while printing the output of annotations. So I have set it to 0.5. You can play around with this uh, parameters and you can set up the few short examples. So for now, I'm using five examples. So by default, it's, it's also a five example uh, setup that we have to follow up. So it's already five examples set it up. You can, if you're trying to pass 10 examples, then you can pass it as 10 examples, right? So that's how you're going to use it. And then once you're done with this uh, parameter settings, you're going to go back into the annotations and that's it. You have to go into the new example that you haven't annotated right now. So you have to go into the new example that you haven't annotated. So for that, let's go into the new examples. So this example looks uh, good for me that it is not annotated. So I, what I'm going to do is, I, I'm just going to click on this particular print button. You can see it has already selected this uh, GPT model and it has selected the model type as few short. And then once I click on this print button, it's going to take up all those five examples as an input and it will learn those patterns of this, those particular annotations and it's going to apply the same kind of annotations on this kind of image. You can see it has already helped us in annotating the examples. It's, it's quite helpful uh, when you have large set of examples and you want to annotate it automatically and then you want to export this kind of annotations into a certain format of training a model, right? So you can see that there are few annotations it has missed out. So what you can do is you can recreate those annotations and you can just re-annotate those annotations which, which are getting missed out or which seems to be incorrect. So you can recreate those annotations. So like I can see this warranty is being uh, incorrect. So you, what you can do is you can remove this, that annotations by right clicking on it and press delete on it. So this way you can uh, delete and recreate those annotations that has been done by the model. And once you uh, accept this particular annotation, you can click on this validate button and then you can go on to the next image document for the annotation. And then again, you can click on this particular print button. Then it will again help you to lay out the annotations for this new examples. So it's going to take up all those examples that has been annotated and then going to apply the same annotations for this particular example. So you can see it, it has already annotated the examples quite well and then you can uh, validate this particular example and once you're satisfied with this particular examples what you can do is you can just click on this validate button and that's it that's that that is how you can do it for other images also and once you're satisfied with all those annotations let's suppose you want to use this annotations for training a layout LM model or LILT models or any other document AI models what you can do is you can click on this particular export button and then you can select the OCR format here once you click on this OCR format you're going to download this OCR process process form and then once you download it, you can use this particular uh, annotations for training of your own model directly. Even you don't have to process it automatically because we are downloading the already processed form. So you can just directly use this file uh, for training of your layout LM models or AILT models. So it is very much compatible with all those uh, document AI models and you can directly use the output of this UBI AI tools uh, to train any of the custom models. So this is the beauty of UBI tool. You can import your images, annotate those images automatically by using few short learning and then export into the required format on which the, on which you want to train a custom model, right? So this is how the UBI tool gonna help you to improve your efficiency and also the productivity of your annotation. And obviously it's gonna reduce the time and investment that is being invested on the team build up and for the and annotating these kind of talks. So this is how uh, UBI tool can help you in progressive manner and can also help you to upgrade the annotation process. And I think it just takes few seconds to get it annotated and validated properly. So this is all about this particular video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.